We are introduced to the concept of accounts when either we enter college or in late high school. And the concept of finance is introduced more or less, it's weaved into our college curriculum before we even realize that we're studying finance. And unfortunately, we're not really taught the basics of what is finance, what is accounts. Most people even use it interchangeably. Uh, and in turn, they make a lot of incorrect decisions, especially if it's about your career. So, I hope that in this video, we're going to talk about the differences. And you need to know, uh, A, for yourself, what is finance, what is accounts, the difference between them. B, if you have to ever make a decision for yourself. And C, if somebody else is using these concepts, but are using it incorrectly. So you should know and not get confused. All right, let's jump into it. Let's talk about finance. Finance, remember guys, is equal to money. Finance is all about how do I acquire money, how do I manage money, and how do I deploy money. So let me give you a quick example, right? If we talk at a personal level, right? Simple answer is, you have some salary or some income and out of that some portion is savings. Now, what do you do with the savings? Because you want to keep the savings safe. You want to try and grow your savings. You want to make sure that they are available, you know, for a rainy day in the future or you want to save it for today to buy something materialistic which is important to you in the future like maybe a house, uh, maybe something else for your family, etc, etc. So what do you do? You got to decide uh, where do you put the money, right? Do you just keep it in your bank or if it's in, you know, do you just keep it at home? Do you put it in the fixed deposit aspect? Do you have enough money to put in real estate? There's mutual funds, there's stock markets, there's so much. What to do, right? If I take it a notch higher to a company or corporate level, right? I'll give an example of Apple. Apple today has, I think, the largest cash reserve of any organization in the world. Um, so let's say they have, I think it was last year, it was $300 billion, right? They have it in the bank, in their cash savings. What do they do with it, right? Why are they not spending it? Instead, they go out and they borrow money from the bank, which is debt, and they pay interest on it for a, a lot of reasons. There's tax savings, it's just smarter financial engineering. Now, this decision, why would you do that? You have cash, why not use your own cash? Why do you borrow debt? All of these are financial decisions. A decision that will actually help you the highest return at the end of a period. So, they must have made some calculations knowing that instead of using cash right now, it's better to borrow because when I calculate tax saving, interest payment, etc, etc, they, they might have realized that in the long term, keeping the cash might actually be safer or might have a larger return. That is financial decision. So finance is all about when you think about money. Let's come to accounts. Accounts is more what I would say historic, right? By finance is about what to do now or what to do for your money in the future. Accounts becomes a little more historic and it becomes more of a data decision. Accounting is keeping a track of all your money. Just think about it. Let's say you get 100 crores, you know, somehow. Now, it sounds awesome to have it. And the first few things you will do, you can think of, right? You'll buy, hopefully, a lavish house for your family. You'll make sure that if you have any debt, you pay all of that off. You know, you have any fantasies about cars, about trips, about this, that, you do it all. But let's say after 100 CR, you're left with 40 CR. Now, when you have 40 crore rupees, if you don't know how to track it, it's going to vanish in a couple of years without you knowing it. And you are planning on keeping your 40 crores for the rest of your life because that's enough to keep anybody and any family happy for their entire lifetime. But if you don't know what's going to happen, you're going to start losing track of money. And before you know it, it's going to be chaotic. Money will either be forgotten where it's put. You know, it might go in taxation. You might not have planned for it. You might make mistakes. And in a few years, your money can actually get wiped off. All of this is part of accounting. Secondly, once accounting is properly maintained, you can also look at it and make clever decisions based on what is your overall financial situation that accounting will tell you. So, when it comes to academics, right? Finance, a, a course like CFA specializes in finance. FRM is a specialization within finance. Right? Uh, it's on financial risk. And other courses like Chartered Accounting, ACCA, CMA, CPA, they all, almost half of each of these courses cover enough about this finance aspect. When it comes to accounting, again, obviously, like I said, right? CA, ACCA, CPA, CMA, all of these also have accounting covered up. But there are also other courses that uh, teach you primarily only and only accounting. So it's not about which one is better or which one sound, you know, has more prospects. Both are going to be super important. The advent of tech and AI is actually making it smoother for on both the sides. So don't worry about, you know, choosing one because 
the other one is going to get redundant. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is that the the move, whether you want to do finance or accounts, or maybe you study for both and then let the let your career show which direction you should go in, will make the most sense because even if you get into the field of finance, you need to know accounts and vice versa. So it's better that you actually prepare for both. Even if it's not in your career, in your personal life, you will need both. I hope that this gives you guys some clarity and if I've missed something, please leave it in the comments.